Hey guys, it's Johnny here from Spirits People. Thank you so much for checking out this very first video of the scientific, let's not call it scientific. Let's just call it what it is. I'm gonna chop up some stuff and I'm gonna smell it in these glasses. trying to do here is to create some new memories. When we smell and taste uh, different kinds of spirits, like what you were referring to is effectively some kind of memory of, of that aroma or that flavor. What I'm trying to do here is to build in maybe a little bit of a stronger uh, memory when it comes to those key aromas and key flavors that I get um, on a lot of different spirits. I went to my local greengrocer and picked out the the sweetest versions of each of those so i have um, the gala royale here so red apple like quite sweet and i have a very sweet uh, pear as well so i'll do uh, a pear in the oven i'm gonna bake this because i do get baked baked fruit quite a lot so i'll do a baked pear and i'll do a baked apple and then lastly i'll do a caramelized apple and a caramelized pear on the pan so there we go, let's do some chopping. What? First, we wash. All right, let's chop some more. London's fucking hot, man. What the fuck? It's crazy out there, heat wave. The point is to, as I said before, create new memories or enhance memories of flavor. This is the goal, this is the vision. Hopefully it's going to enhance my experience when I smell and taste spirits. So let's do it. There is no spoon. Wow. This is crazy. All right, guys, we're making our way through the first experiment here. So um, I'm back in the office and it's still freaking hot. So um, I've had the fan on for a bit. I've tried to cool down, but uh, it's pretty much impossible. So here we go. What I wanted to do was try to identify like very specifically the different aspects of fresh fruit, baked fruit and caramelized. Start with a fresh apple, go to the baked and then go to the caramel caramelized at the end. Because again, as I was kind of going through things, I found that the caramelized fruit was quite a bit more pronounced than uh, the baked fruit. The baked fruit actually became a little bit more, a little bit more sourness coming out of it. So uh, yeah, very interesting. So let's let's do it. So definitely the the sensation of just eating a fresh apple is definitely in this glass. So the apples, you can see they're a little bit dry and um, yeah, so, and they, they, they smell a little bit drier. It's almost like a, it's like an apple cider almost um, to like a dried apple. 
You got the caramelized apple, and there's actually there's quite a bit of kind of caramel sauce kind of lingering here. So I did add a little bit of butter to the pan just to kind of make sure that it didn't um, burn everything off. But yeah, there's like like tons of tons of caramel in here. I feel like the fresh fruit is pretty straightforward. I I wasn't necessarily too confused about that. But when it comes to the differentiation between a baked fruit and a caramelized fruit, like that's a little bit more of a narrow spectrum. But I think as I'm kind of looking at it here, the visual representation is kind of what I think is also what's happening on the nose here. So because this is uh, baked and it's kind of dried out a little bit, it kind of makes sense because it almost smells like a crust, like a uh, like a pie crust, without there being actual pie or anything associated with any kind of um, other baked goods than just the apple. I feel like that's pretty that's pretty pronounced on the baked apples here, and then caramelized apple, whole different ball game. While this is sweet and it's sweeter than the fresh apple. The caramelized apple is very sweet. So if you look at it in terms of sugary sweetness, if you will, because I think that's the difference here. I think the sugary note on the fresh fruit is quite low. It's a lot more kind of um, fresh. It feels quite natural. Then you have the baked fruit, which is kind of like, well, you kind of understand that there's some, some sugary contents in there that, that has been enhanced. So I kind of put the the sweetness on the baked fruit in the middle, and then the caramelized fruit, which is obviously because caramelization is sugar. So obviously you get that very very heavy and very very sweet sensation when you when you nose this. But also you get more of the fresh sensation on this than you do on the baked fruit. The baked fruit is kind of a more subdued apple characteristics actually. So on the caramelized apples, you smell more apples, but you also smell a lot more sugary contents and, and obviously the, the caramel. Cool. So let's see if the pears is on pear with the apples. So as I mentioned before, the pears were quite a lot sweeter than than the whole range of apples and this goes for every category here the fresh pear was sweeter than the fresh apple the baked pear was sweeter than the baked apples um, and the caramelized pear was sweeter than the caramelized apples some fresh pear let's see what happens so pear is one of those things that i didn't necessarily eat a lot of pears when i was a kid i ate a ton of apples because we had a we had some apple trees in the backyard so apples are very, very it's a very clear memory of apples. However, with the pear, and sometimes when I do nose and taste the spirit, when I'm confused about whether or not I think it's an apple or a pear, I'm probably thinking about a pear because I feel like if it was an apple, I have a very strong memory of, of the apple sensation. I'm building some new some new memory patterns here for for pears. Try to figure out what it is that you don't know and then try to add that to your vocabulary um, so that when you do taste something that you have a much broader sense of, of what it is that you're drinking. So yeah, a fresh pear smells like fresh pear. So if you don't know what fresh pear smells like, you're in trouble right now. So go out and buy a pear. You have to be able to reference a memory of apple and a memory of, of pear to be able to distinguish that kind of base layer. There's there's no way, and I guess this this goes to the whole point of, of, of these videos, like you cannot smell something that you don't have a reference to. Smelling and tasting more things is going to broaden your catalog of what you can get when you nose and taste spirits. And hopefully it will enhance your experience of, of drinking something because the ability to pick something out of the glass is exciting. And like when you do that and you, you find something like, oh yeah, that's 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 a thing. That's apple, that's caramelized apple. That's a really nice kind of um, kind of pat on the back for yourself. Like, oh yeah, 
I'm getting better at this. So let's do the uh, baked pear here. <sighs> yeah, same thing as the apple. It's it smells like it smells like pie crust almost. So baked pear in its essence smells like a pear pie. Caramelized pear, okay. So what I'm not getting here is the smell of pear. <laughs> so I'm just kind of a, it's been sitting without a uh, lid for a second. So I'm just trying to agitate this a little bit, see if I can get some aromas out and see if I can capture it in the glass. Yep. So I think it's just escaped. So the caramel aromas were sitting in there, but the pear kind of like was numbed down a little bit. Now that the pear note is there, it smells more of pear than the baked one. So the baked one again feels like it's a drier, it's a drier sensation. So I feel like again, if you think about a pie crust and almost like put that on your palate, have that have that sensation of, of, of biting into a crust and that dryness, that's what that smells like. Whereas this one here smells a lot more like a, like a very syrupy uh, sensation. This is what this smells like. So it's more like a caramel sauce, which is obviously in the glass. So it is a trick, but that's what it smells like. This smells more syrupy. This smells more dry. And this smells more like fresh pear. So this was the first one and probably this is a little bit more extravagant than more of the other videos that I'll be doing. However, the essence of what I'll try to do is always to explore the core ingredients of, of the sensations that I get when I smell and taste any kind of spirit. So hopefully this will help you guys kind of maybe pluck some gaps or maybe encourage you to try some of this stuff on your own or maybe just try to smell and taste. So yeah, that's it. Peace out, guys.